right, congratulations. We're looking at the GED exam. Uh, good luck to you and your studying and preparation. Um, we're going to start with number one. I made a few notes here to get started. Um, we're converting 12 yards, 3 feet, and 8 inches all into inches. Oh, there's my cat. Excuse me. Come on, Fred. Okay, so 1 yard is equivalent to 3 feet. And 3 feet, we're going to convert that into inches. So 3 feet times 12 inches per foot is 36 inches. So we know in each one of these yards, one yard is going to equal 36 inches. So we're going to take that and multiply it by 12. So 36 times 12 in order to get the total amount of inches for the 12 yards. So 36 times 12, 2 times 6 is 12, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Bring down our 0, cancel, get rid of that. 1 times 6 is 6, 1 times 3 is 3. So that's 2, this is 13, and this is 4. So we've got, first of all, we've got 432 for this one. So we're done here. I'm going to go ahead and X that one out. All right, now for the next one, we know that we've got 3 feet... And we need to convert that into inches for this portion here. So we know in three feet, each one of those feet has 12 inches, just like when we were converting the yards up here. So that's going to be 36 inches again. So just for the three feet portion, we already looked at it here, but just as a review, this is going to be 36 inches here. So we're going to add 36 to that. And then we're just left with the last eight inches here. I highly recommend identifying things using colors if you can, um, boxing, etc., to um, remind yourself of what you need to get done. So then we'll add all three of these, and we will get 8 plus 6 is 14, plus 2 is 16, 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7, and 4 plus nothing is 4. So our answer is going to be D. All right, let's look at number 2. Twice a positive integer squared less 3 is 95. Okay, so we need to come up with a formula for what the, these words are telling us. So if we have a positive integer, we'll just say that's going to be x, because we're looking for whatever number that is. So we'll call that x. So twice a positive integer, that's two of them, twice the integer, squared, twice the integer squared, less 3 is 95. Is is the equivalent of the equal sign. So twice a positive integer, 2 times the integer squared, less 3 is 95. Now we can just solve for x. So we'll get 2x squared equals 98. Divide by 2, divide by 2. x squared equals 49. And then we can take the square root at this point, square root, x is going to equal 7. So our answer will be B. All right, number three. Place the point 8, negative 6 on the coordinate plane. 8, negative 6. So we know this is the x, this is the y. I'm going to color code this. Call this the x. This is the x axis here. And this is the y, call this one orange. Okay, so on the x axis, we're going over positive eight. This is positive eight here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going down six on the y axis. This is negative six. So we're gonna go down one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is negative six. This is positive 8 here. So we're going to plot a point where those meet. 8, negative 6. So it's going to be right here. This is the point. Positive 8, negative 6. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, and we'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. Best wishes in your studying.